began to insult to the memory of our four religionists, freedom fighters, and brothers and sisters who sacrificed their lives and become, became a victim of Islamic slaughter and atrocities. Today is the day to pay a homage to those Hindus, Sikhs, Parsis, Jains, and Buddhists who became the victim of Islamic ideology. We will pay them our respect by observing one minute silence in the end of the ceremony. May I request the guest of honor, Sri Rami, uh, Ramindarji Ranger and his wife to come forward to begin the ceremony with our Vedic tradition of lighting the lamp and offering a garland to the image of our great Guru, Sri Shankaracharya, Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Sri Buddha Ji, Sri Mahavir Ji, and Sri Jarthur Ji of Vedic Darbha and their branches. And to Bharat Mata and Goddess, Goddess of Hindu Nation and Pandit Satyamji Krishna Varma. Welcome, Mr. Rami Ji Ranger. <laughs> lighter? Anybody got lighter? Thank 
Make the honor of to unveil the plaque of yeah. uh, Pandit Samji Krishna Varma. Would you please follow there, please? Yeah. in Stuttgart, Germany. This is the first flag of Indian independence. Yes. I must congratulate everyone for India's independence. And in that independence, is a great man who has a big hand and uh, it's a historical event. It's very gratifying to see that there are people like Hemaji who go out of the way to, to pay tribute and respect to those who had a vision and that vision we are enjoying. So I have few words, very few words. Distinguished guests, Shri Hemaji, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to have been asked to unveil a plaque on this historic building. This historic building because the free seeds of freedom for India's freedom movement were sown 100 years ago. I'm indebted to Shri Hemaji for inviting me and asking me to take part along with you all in this historic event. I, as I said, admire people like Hemaji who have taken time out of their busy life for others and help preserve our heritage. And without our heritage, we have no culture, no future, no past. So we must preserve our her heritage at any cost. We can all see how the vision of Sri Shamji Krishna Varma had for India over 100 years ago. It is a result of such vision that we now have a free India. I shudder to think what India's fate would have been if there were no people like Shamji to guide us. This building today reminds me of the meeting, discussion, plans they must have made for India's freedom. I will go as far as to say that people like Shamji were inspiration to people like Gandhiji and many more who helped bring the dream of India's independence to fruition. It is a matter of pride that in 19th century there was one Indian Shamji who was so highly regarded, not by his own community, but by the elite British educational institutions. And he was the first person of Indian origin to become a, to obtain a master's degree from Oxford, which is a great matter of pride for us that even 100 years ago, 
India had such great people. We did not, he did not rest there and went in to make a hostel for Indian students in the UK, the first Indian hostel in the UK. It is gratifying to learn that his dream of returning to free India have, has been fulfilled due to the tireless effort of Hemdi and his team organization. His ashes now rest in free India, which he so desired. Finally, I am also very proud to have had a father who stood for the integrity and freedom and unity of India. He sacrificed his life in order to save 600 students of DAV College Multan who were caught in communal riots when, he were take, when they were taking part for the, for, against the partition of India. It is the sacrifice of such people that the world becomes a better place for, all, for, for us all to live. Ladies and gentlemen, we will all go from this world one day, sooner or later, we will all go. But only our deeds will be remembered after we have gone. And appropriately today, we are remembering the deed of such great person, Shamji. Jai Hind. Thank you, Ranji. Thankful to you all. to come and join us to this great event. Without uh, you, this event wouldn't have been a success. Pandit Syamji Krishna Verma sacrificed his whole life, his whole earnings of life, and whole, the whole time of his life for, the, for our Indian nation. No other Indian has sacrificed as much as Pandit Siamji Krishna Varma. And I am so happy that you are all here to join us for this big day. I am so grateful to the owner of this house, Mr. and Mrs. McIntyre, who has given a great support, help and permission permission <coughs> to erect this play plaque at 60 Mazalain Road. Now I will ask my daughter to take it from here and she will explain the other part of this today's uh, program. Thank you. I cordially invite the following people to accept a token of our appreciation from the founder of Hindu Swatantriya Veer Smriti Sansmana. Without the kind permission, help and support from Mr and Mrs McIntyre, the current owners of 60 Muswell Hill Road, this event would not have been possible. Although Mr and Mrs McIntyre are unfortunately absent from this event, Hindu Sadandriya Veer Smruti Sanstanam would like to express their sincerest thanks by presenting Alex McIntyre, son of Mr and Mrs McIntyre, with this honour. Anjana Ben Kumar. Without the help of Anjana Ben, whatever the present is here, don't open it now, please. Very nice. 